morning, internet friends, or rather, good evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, boys? Are we doing tired? Yeah, it is like after nine o'clock right now. Yeah, are you sleepy, buddy? I know Riddler really is. So, what has the day been? I interned. That was fun. Um, on the drive home, I suddenly was a mess with anxiety. I had anxiety over the take-home test that I had to do, that I finished, because I was like, I need to get it started. Though, I'm a little concerned because one of the questions required files that I can't open, and oop, there's a piece of lint, and other students can't open because I emailed them and I asked. And they're like, nope, we can't open it. And I'm just like, well, great. Um, let's see. And then I got really anxious about whether or not our project was started on. Because I was like, okay, if no one else has worked on this project, then I need to start it. And that's a lot more for me to do. Um, but luckily one of the partners has already started it. Um, I need to work on procedures for the experiment. Though I may do that tomorrow. I don't know. Excuse you. Excuse you. Yeah, you noticed my pillow is missing. It's getting dried right now. I washed my comforter and it's clean. And doggies are happy. Excuse you. Are you wanting to encroach on my personal space? Hey, ah, 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 back up. Back up. Yes, good boy. I'm trying to keep some space. This one. Oops, sorry, buddy. I did not mean to hit you in the face. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. But this one loves encroaching on your personal space. He does. Emery, what are you doing? Sniffing at a shirt? Sniffing at your brother? Okay. Um, and then the number one thing that I am anxious about is this weekend. So as I told you guys, there's an event going on at the zoo that I work at. And apparently they have had up to 7,000 people there before. So now I'm even more anxious because one of my huge things with anxiety is crowds. I wonder if that's a phobia. I need to look it up. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and I've already sold my soul and said I would work both shifts on Saturday. So I'm like really overwhelmed about that already. And... um. I'm overwhelmed about going to church on Easter Sunday, and I want to bring MRL. Well, I wish MRL was ready. And then, I had someone suggest to me, hey, why don't you bring him to church for exposure? Why, well, they said that the first time their dog went to church was Easter Sunday. And, of course, they suggested, since a church is not a public place, call the pastor. Talk to them. I had to leave a message. That was one of the most anxiety-inducing things in my life, was having to call the pastor and leave a message. Um, but I think the number one thing that's kind of freaking me out is how my parents will respond. Hey, uh-uh! No, sir! He was just trying to chew on my desk. He's never done that before. That's rude, mister. But anyways, um... It's more with my parents. As I've told you guys before, okay, if you're new and you don't really know what I'm talking about, my parents are kind of iffy when it comes to my anxiety. My dad, I don't think, cares. My mom is kind of judgy about it. She doesn't really want to listen to me. She thinks my anxiety will go away, even though that is not possible. And I think she's not the biggest fan of MRL being a service dog. So... I'm worried about what they're going to say if I ask them about bringing Emerald to church. I mean, right after the service, he's going to be going straight home. And I don't know how to explain to her that, you know, I need his support. Because I'm already going to be fried out of my mind from having an entire weekend of nothing but people. And of course, on Easter, there's a bunch of people. And that is going to freak me out. And even though MRL can't really do automatic alerts yet. Um, sorry, my computer is being weird. Um, his support would be awesome. And plus exposure. 
And that'd be great. And, I mean, all he'd have to do is just lay there. It wouldn't be like at Tractor Supply. Well, I mean, there'd still be new smells and sounds or whatever, but it shouldn't be as bad. Um, but we'll see. But it just makes me really nervous thinking about asking my parents. And I know that sounds stupid, that I feel like my parents are judging me for having a service dog. But, I mean, if you just knew my mom and my dad, that's the way to describe it. Um, and then, out of nowhere, I guess my brain was just, like, so riddled with anxiety that it decided to come up with a weird and random thought. How to revolutionize the dairy industry. I won't tell you guys what it is because I don't want any of you guys stealing my idea and patenting it. But it has to do with mama cows and their babies. So, I think it will revolutionize the dairy industry. And even if it wouldn't, the fact that my anxious brain was like, we're going to think about this instead. And I don't even know how it got on the subject of dairy cows. I really don't know. But, anxiety brain's a weird thing. So, and then got home. I've been working on my take-home test. Finally got it done. Um, got my comforter washed. My body pillow's getting washed. And now I'm watching MRL being so cute with his little Kong toy. It's actually not the Kong brand. That is actually a, a brand called Gorilla. And he's had that thing since Christmas. And he freaking loves it. He likes the rope part. He likes when peanut butter is put in the Kong part. Which sometimes I'll do a bit of both. But yeah. Now I'm just waiting for the video to upload. It's taking forever. But that's because I'm having... I had the file downloaded in high quality. Because again I am experimenting to see how good the high quality will be. So now I'm just gonna wait for my pillow to dry, work on the vlog, and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! You look at my precious boy. He's sleeping. He's so cute. And there's my other precious doggies. Riddler heard a noise so he's like, what is that? Oh, and look! My pillow is all clean! Yay! This makes me happy. And my blanket's all clean. And luckily it doesn't have soap streaks. Because our washer is pretty notorious for getting streaks of, like, white streaks all over any black articles of clothing you got. Well, maybe not socks, but, like, shirts and leggings, it is notorious for. Blah, blah, could not talk. So, finally got the vlog up. Um... I was experimenting with it some to see if I can make the definition better and make the quality of my videos a bit better. Um, so I saved it as a high definition on Windows Movie Maker, which is the program I use, instead of just saving it to the computer like normal. It, makes, it takes it longer to upload to YouTube. Instead of like maybe 20 minutes, it took like 40 minutes. But... To me, I could see a difference. Give me a thumbs up if you could tell a difference, too. Um, because I really want to provide you guys with better quality videos. Because better quality looks better. And, you know, I just want to make it to where you guys can enjoy my videos a little bit better. Um, now, I'm waiting for my computer to do freaking updates. Which is lame. Excuse you, what are you doing? Are you trying to eat another bug? There's a bug on my floor. If it's another box elder bug, I'm going to be pissed. You know what? While that is doing that, let's go discover what this bug is. It is a box elder bug. No. I hate these things. You guys don't understand my hatred of them. Because they're all over my room. Um, I also don't like ladybugs for the same reason. Because now I've shown my dad where I think I know how they're getting in my room. 
they're like outside my window like okay let's say that this window is outside my window so you see how there's short sides and there's long sides so in this area here outside there's like a huge crack running down like that my theory is that is how the bugs are getting in my room and of course up at the top we're like our roof does that there's a wasp nest right there so that's how wasps are getting in what are you doing baby oh you want to tell your brother good night do you want to say good night to your internet friends are you trying to go after the bug my dogs are insectivores they eat bugs because they're weirdos Emeril want to say hi Emeril Emeril can you focus yes yeah you're able to focus good boy so now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you've had a wonderful day or night rain or shine whatever the world has for you today question of the day is what kind of bug do you not like? If you like all bugs, which bug is your favorite? If you don't like bugs, which one is your least favorite? So, the number one most hated bug to me is either wasp or ladybug. Box elder is very close though. So, oh, hey, my computer was done. So, put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, you fluff bite. Good night, bigger short hair bite, and good night, sassafrasum.